né, que eu na Gonica no Roto, desoda um seus, né, de que atas no Roto, né, né, do anado, com o Roto, carinho, vai ter. Tô que de nega nele, tá do anão rolado, no Roto, né, que atras os fios, né, suba o ano das, né, o início lá de. Né, agora eu gosto que do anão nega nem com lá som, tá do anão rolado, um gue som. Se não, já é que os conos vão no turno, em que atras o ano, início lá de, né, que de nega tem que nem com a ninguém. Nega de ona, tegni hantu nintu no doa ele, nai ki nista ha, nai ni kwa doa na kwa salah kwa kwa haki. Nai yung kwa shita kwa salah kwa ni doa na ato kwa. Nai yung skat sti ni wakao, sega na tani yi jika kutu kwa wakao kwa nohoa doa ka hawi tis kwa nai doa nuntu ni. Toka di nai njaga ni ila nua nisa la di niyo. Nai diya ki nuhu la di ki nista ha jo honja ade, ka di niyo tik ni kwa ni gona. Nai ki ona tani yut, nai no doa ila oon, nai no loa ina dao, nai no loa ila oon e ka yon adake, jika ni kalun yu. Nenek tu ni orang wah tadi ni, oh ni jika ni kalau ni ni kandian ni kandian telas, oh ni kan ni kandian telau wah nus, yaitu ni kah tik, ni yang kuat dan awas tu, ni yang kuat dan hilat stah kau kau kau, tu kan itu wah la kau kos kau wah ni yang kuat ni kau di tengah la ada, nenek jika ni kalau ni jauh jauh ada, di segi yang kuat dan awas tu, kau ni orang tik ni kuat ni kau la, ni kau di wah oh ni lawa ni dah antun ni hoye lo, ni lawa la agak yang tu ke oh ni, nenek kau tak kau jaga ni orang kau tik kau di tengah la tu jika ni kalau ni. Nah, okay, kita kudo tak lor. So, okay, kita orang ini kita ni je, nah, supaya we ada naat. So, ni kita dok kaya. So, dia itu nahu atau nanti nanti kau mahu hakik. Nenek dah ikhaya tak kena nuni salah diskon itu anu tu ni. Kau dengar tak ni kau ni kau lah. Nenek kau dia orang itu ni kau ye lalu ni dah. Nenek sot kau jauh jauh jadi ni. Nenek orang nak dok kaya tu ayak. Nenek okay, kita ni jauh kila kau nak ada susu. Nenek orang tu nak dok kau 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 anu kau ni. Dua yang terus, nenek dua nak dok, nenek kat itu ni je, nenek asli ni kuda nos, nenek kat yang terus, nenek kat dia si dua, dekem dua sahaja dua dok, kat yang jauh jadi ni juga dah ni lantas dah, kat yang jauh jadi ni, nenek yang sekat setinggi segus segut sini hake, nenek yang ayam kung kat dah jauh dok kat yang, nenek dia jual hanya ada nuni selada, kat yang sekat dua hari nuni tak ni ni kau lantas, nenek dia jual kini halada, nenek kat yang terus lah, kat dia ni hake ni kau ni kau lah. Nega di wah oh ni lawa la nene ya tiung gua hak tay doa doa yang dah kerja honca ada nene lawa nata. Nega orang ni kau sekut kau doa nak doh kau nene kau ini nak doh hana si nu deh nene kau liu. Oke aku nene kau dah so oke aku nene kau doa nus. Tapi sekut kau di wah teni je dia nak nene dah ini hodu suka hawih tu. Nega ini cak ya dek nene oke aku dah nasi susu nata kau oke aku orang ni acah lalu. Nega di dia nene dah ini teni je dek nene hodu ada orang ni hodu lagu hodu dia dah hodu susu. Nenek uskan orang tu nyusun orang tu. Nenek tu jaga nenek halal tu. Jadi segan nenek jaga nenek halal ke? Nenek jadi jadi kau doa yang hakik nenek jadi kau tuan jauh kau. Toke deh nenek jaga nenek nuni salah deh. Kau kau sekarang jadi doa yang nuni tak jaga nenek halal semua. Nenek tu jaga nenek halal tu. Nenek kau dia liu. Kau dia nyusun tak nenek kau nenek kau. Nenek kau dia orang ni tu nenek kau dia nuni lawa lawa. Agak yang dia jauh jauh jadi nenek. Nenek tu orang tu. Kau nenek kau dia kau gue lagi aku lagi semua. Nenek elas nanti kau tihanya. Nenek kau dia orang nenek tu hadis sana ke hadis. Orang yang dah di satu tahun saja hadi orang. Nada jauh kini halal tu jauh nak di jauh nak di kiri kanan lagi segera jauh hujan jauh nak di jauh kini halal nak di jauh di jauh kini di jauh kini halal kuat. Yang sekat setinggi segera nanti ni jual di bawah itu lah hakik. No ada segera ini segera ini sah dan segera ini atas. Nada jauh leh hanya ada. No ni selah dah kau kau sekali dua hari no ni kaya ni ni kau halal semua. Nada di jauh kini halal dan nada orang kau semua jauh hujan jauh dah kau dengar tak ni kau ni kau. Nah kedua orang itu orang itu jauh kini halal tu, nana kaya dekat itu selagi jauh jauh jadi, nana juga jista dengi nana kaya dewa dengi nunggu esok, nana yang sekat dengi yang segera nanti ni jadi dengi nunggu halal kes, nana kau jauh kau, nana kini nunggu halal semua, ok ada naya orang nana nana dah tak kahwin tak kau esok, nana jadi dua nuh tu ni, nana kedua itu nana jauh ni orang ni selagi dekat kau esok dua orang ni nunggu tak kini nunggu halal semua, nana orang ni orang tu ya dah hodas, nana kau tak kau anak aku kau kini hodas semua tu. Nah kata dia kan aku ada orang sini dua dengi tu, nenek kata kerja itu salah kerja orang jadi, kata dia nyata kini kau ni kau. Nenek kata dia orang itu nak kau ada jadi kalau ni ada orang itu dua dengi kau lagi tu, nenek tu juga kau nak lagi, nenek tu nyata tu hak, nenek lawa lawa tak kau tak kau tak kau lada ni orang jauh jadi ni, tiap tu tu semua dengi hak kerja ni awis tu orang jauh dari tu, nenek kata dia dua nak tu, nenek tu juga kini orang ada dua nak tu, nenek kata ini kau lagi, tiap tu kau dah kau lawa yang jauh jadi ni awal dia awal saja dua dengi. Orang itu sebab tanya hak kerja ni awis tu junior tadi hon junior hon jadi ni. Naya kat dia wajib jual hanya ada nuni selada saya kata kah tu hak. Saya kata nala diri wajib itu hak aku ek. Naya kita jual hanya ada nuni get selada aku ek. Sekarang dua wajib nuni tiga ni ni kuhlah semua. 
Nada já que não rolado, dona do que nem caí nem cavalade. Cadê nem o tico nem guarda nem com o. Nega de vai o nito não guarda nem o de dois de nem com a ela. Nega de vai nem nem que só tu com a de vai elas. Nem as cartas de nem tu nem de nem se agora é que a da guerra. Nem o tu nem de já se agora de tu olha lá com a do que de nem o não sou. O nem nem o que a de que não foi salado. Nem nega de nem o do nem a nega se nem nega de o que a lá de nem de não do nega. Nem o não há nem o de o da que nem a ela usa cahui. Tu sana yang kira kira kalau dah waktu ni nak jauh ke tu juga doa yang hakis. Tapi nak jaga ni anu ni salah dia ni orang ni jenis jauh dia nak kalau ni jauh pun jadi asal jauh ni ni. Naya dia doh pun jauh. Naya kadit naya tak kalau pun ni ada nu ni kita salah de. Agak agak sekitar dua hari nu ni kira ni ni kau ha so anda jaga ni halal de. Nanti yang kisah tu kau ada dia alas kadit nyuh tip ni kau ni kau. Naya kadit wah orang tu ni jauh jaga ni halal de. Nanti yang kadit doa nak tu kau nanti doa je kau kau ni kalah kau. Nasa ni tu haswa te tu jina diu diri diu diri hua diu diri hua tiga jauh jadi. Orang ni nak tu ho diri tu ho tu ho diri hat tu hakis. Naya jaga kiat dega naya jinio jinio le jaga kuat kah tu lah tu sah aku sah kiat tu ni salah dengi. Naya kat dia jauh le hanya tu jinah sah tu selawano sekarang sah kau nak tu ni. Naya lo sekarang kau kiat dega kau cipta nak tu kau. Naya kau itu nuh ni sedia salah kau 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 sekarang tu awak nuh ni tiga ni ni kau lah so. Tak jauh kena halal, tu nenek kita tu dua je, jauh kena kalah ko. Kadai nyuh tu kena gua ni gua na. Naya kadai wah ni orang tu nu gua di nu, naya jitu ada ni gua hai lah. Naya suka ni dah aja jinak tu suka gua hai lah, naya logo lagu. Naya kisah tu asal tu nak kalah ko, naya zaman agam tu jago rihwa di tu hagi. Naya hod tu tu nak rihwa selalu ni. Naya zaman aja kia dage. Nono kadai wah ni nu agras ni nu gua di dalam zai swat tu. Oh ni jika ni kalau ni nahu di 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 tengah kah tik. Oh ni jenis ni jenis aja tu kuda tu. Oh ni suah ni touch tu jago tu biasa. Oh ni tu tu kuda dia tu ni tadi kuda tu tu. Agak agak sih ni agak hanya tu ni jenis ada kuda ni. Naya tu jero hanya ada tu ni salah ada kuda kah sekitar dua hari tu ni tiga hari ni kuda halal semua. Naya tu jauh kena halal ada kisah tu asal tu anak aku kah kah dia ni tu ni kuda ni kuda. Naya orang ni tu orang tu jitu ada ni kuda halal tu. Isi nak kuda dia jitu kalau dia ada. Naya tu dia nak kuda hak. Nenek kisah tu tuan nak tu, nenek ojis tu nak kuat semua. Terus kita nenek tu ni jadi juga jis tu kuyus tu jis tu kawain. Nenek wak aku ni juga ni kau kawain tak kaje. Oh ni nenek awak jis tu jauh jadi nenek tu setan nenek azwa setan. Oh ni kat dewa nenek kahwit nenek aku aku azu jauh nenek adu yang ni ni kau kuat semua. Nenek ni orang juga dari kau ini jis segu nenek tak tak kahwit tak kau sekarang saya kau nak tu ni. Oh ni jauh kita kau ada kat kena ayat dari kau tu kita tuan nak tu kau. Nenek kata dua jam kita dua jam nak halal tu, sekarang orang yang kau kau kata hari tiga hari ni kau nak semua sekarang nak saya kau nak tu ni. Nenek tu jadi hanya ada tu ni salah tu ni. Nenek tu jaga nak halal tu, kau kata sekarang dua jam ni kau nak kau ni ni. Jadi dua jam ni tiga kau nak halal tu, sekarang nak jis tu nak kau semua nak kata naya orang tu ha. Nenek kata jis tu nak kau nak kau orang kata sekarang nak kau tu ni. Kata ni hari tiga ni kau ni kau na. Orang kata ni orang orang. Nenek dua jam ni ada tu jis tu 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 hanya jaya lawan ada. Nenek jauh kena tu, kena nenek ini hono kau ya tu. Nenek nenek dos kena nenek nenek hono nenek jauh kaya lah lah ko. Nenek nenek hono tu ni hono ni kau hono tu ni hawa lan ni hawa yang hono tu orang ini nasi kau ini dah asal. Orang nenek hono tu orang ini nenek ni hawa lan hono tu. Nenek mau kahwin tu, saya kau nenek tu dia tu dia hati kau jauh hono jadi orang tu. Kau kaya nenek dia kau ni kau dia hati semua. Nenek tu jauh hono jadi orang ni semua orang kita salah tu kau kau sekarang jadi orang ni orang ni tiada kau ni kau hati semua. Nenek tu jauh kena hono jadi nenek kaya ni hono kau ya tu. Kau dia ni hati kau ni kau ni kau na. Naya kata dia wah, orang itu nak kau di nua. Ni jono itu tu tuhan jaya lawan nata. Eh nak kau di nua, nanti juga wah nani nua tu. Nanti dua hari lah, tapi nua kau nak oko. Nana suka ya di situ anak tu ko. Nanti as kat selama nanti suka kah nala ke seko nala tu 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 nyet tu. Oh nak oh dah kah hati kini nua nak semua sekarang nanti dua nuk tu ni. Naya kata dia jodoh hanya tu nua ni kat selama dia kau kau suka dua hari nua nak kau nua. Ya dua hari ni tu kau nak hati tu, nanti nana suka wah nata as tu tuhan jaya tu. Kadai naya Allah hajar kena kuno kau ni sekarang hono tu ni. Naya hot tu ke? Naya kadai tu naya jenak di 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 cikgu nono kau. Naya tu jodoh hanya tu nuni salah tu. Naya yang yang izai kau tu nanti nanti kau wana aku. Lama aku tu dia sekitar nuda tu tu hujan. Tanah yang kadai tu ni. Naya kadai tu nanti jenak kau wana tu sekitar tu naya tu kadai ni hati kini kau ni kau. Naya kadai tu nuni yang kadai salah tu nak kadai hot kau ni tu sekitar hot nado aku hantu kadai hot dek kau. Oh kadai naya awak ni tu ni je aku hati izah kau kau sekarang so agak dah lalu. Nana sekarang ni kau najis wanu tu ni. Oh ni sekarang najis wanu tu ni nahu tu diri hot tu ni. Tu naya kini ni nuni yang kadai salah tu. Tu nak kadai hot kau ni dua kan agak so agak hot. So izah kau kau tu tak ni kau ni. 
Nenê zini ni por nago eco, cadê né? O nascona, nenê de já teria relação de nada, já deu um ano da um. Tá na cadê o outro pênis não gente sorada? Tô cadê naio? Tô que ninguém gosta ninguém lá, tá nem tro. Jimmy Witch, uh, Dave, uh, my brother, reminding us of uh, the importance of gratitude to uh, all of creation. Um, when we uh, set our minds and hearts there, uh, good things can happen. Uh, a few uh, quick comments, uh, maybe sharing the history, uh, how this uh, place uh, came to be, um, and I'm I'm sure that uh, Chris and Abraham have a few uh, in the Yukon. And one of the organizers, Curtis Skur, and uh, Chris, he didn't make it today, did he? No. Um, anyway, uh, Curtis wanted to offset <clears throat> the, the uh, impact, the carbon footprint that was created by traveling there, and wanted to plant some trees somewhere, somehow, um, ended up calling me about it and then uh, I called Chris and uh, uh, Chris helped find a place um, there uh, and then that evolved into uh, I knew that Forest Ontario had a reconcilia reconciliation tree planting fund and wondered if they were interested and spoke with Rob who I see in the western door uh, Rob Keane, the executive director, about it. Uh, OPG uh, was brought into the circle. Um, and uh, earlier than all of this, I skipped uh, past uh, uh, Abraham and Akwasasne because in the Eastern Ontario First Nation Working Group, we bring these kinds of issues together. I think that's actually where it went from uh, me to Chris to there, and then uh, to the other partners. Um, and the more we talked, the more we felt that the, the tree plant should re reflect our cultural traditions. Uh, Chris has touched on that. I'm going to leave uh, because Chris did a lot of the design work, but it came out of conversations uh, with um, uh, Abraham, uh, Chris, myself, and others in terms of reflecting those uh, cultural values. Um, and uh, 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 there have been other partners, um, of course, the Ontario Woodlot Association, the uh, Upper Canada District School Board, uh, and others that I'm probably going to, to forget. But uh, the important thing is, is that the partnership has uh, reflected a lot of uh, sector interests, education, um, energy, uh, forestry. And so we've come together in two-eyed seeing. Uh, Two-eyed seeing, the way I'm using it is that uh, we, we brought Western science and, and uh, traditional knowledge systems together here. Um, I also feel that it reflects our early um, gathering. That is of, uh, well, really, uh, I, I feel it reflects the dish with one spoon, which uh, is the largest treaty there ever was and predates European contact. And uh, in there are three principles associated with it. Take only what you need. And even then, the second principle is make sure you've left some for others. And uh, perhaps most importantly, you keep the dish clean. So that is how we feed ourselves from this uh, beautiful uh, Mother Earth, Jojo Aki in Algonquin. Um, and uh, I'm rec recognizing Gina Wade Daganuk, all of creation, that uh, uh, you do so uh, mindfully, uh, you do so with a good heart and mind, and do so humbly. Uh, and in fact, that's how the arrangement uh, through uh, early treaties, including uh, the Treaty of 1764, um, the agreement to uh, share the land uh, was done uh, accepting the responsibility associated uh, with natural law and, um, and part of that agreement 
uh, included the covenant chain in, in the dish with one spoon. Um, much more to say on that, but there's uh, there's a lot more to share. So um, I'm I'm happy to uh, one on one or whatever whatever works. Um, so I'm just uh, I'm gonna pass pass. Uh, well, I guess I gotta pass the mic to Rhonda, who then passes another mic. <laughs> Uh, and either, yeah, maybe Abraham, we'll just kind of, we'll do our alternate, uh, Nishnabic, uh, mic passing here. Sego, sego, kwego, uh, delong hiate yungyat. Um, so hi, my name is Abraham Francis and I am Mohawk from Akwazasne and serve as the Environmental Services Manager at Mohawk Council of Akwazasne. Um, and I joined this group um, and it's just flourished um, since we started. And the Healing Place uh, really was I get a celebration of our cultural connection to this place um, and the shared space. So there's a lot of intention behind this design and where the trees were planted. Um, that is a reflection of both Algonquin and Haudenosaunee um, biocultural connections to place and our values and how they're so intertwined with each other. And specifically, the healing place was created um, to address the, I guess, the, the history, the traumatic history that exists between uh, Canadian Canadians and First Nations peoples, but also expanding that to think about the healing that is necessary with the land. Um, because in the wave of colonization, we were all harmed. Everyone hurts from that pain that was generated and we continue to have to deal with that and heal. And so the space was created for people to tell stories, to build community. Um, it's, it's, it's so much more than I, I ever thought it would be. And really what I, what it, for me, what it was inspired by is grief um, and how grief can manifest in our lives and, and cause anger and cause a myriad of other problems in your life if you don't process them, process that grief and move through it. And that's why I'm so grateful to my culture and to my community um, because we have tools available to us in order to process our grief. We have protocols, we have ceremonies, and I'm really appreciative that Onya has joined us today to open this space um, with some ceremony to clean ourselves off, to, to wipe our eyes, to wipe our ears, clean our ears and our throats so we could see clearly, uh, so we could hear clearly um, and speak clearly. Uh, because as I have understood grief, or as it's been described to me, um, is that your fire gets scattered. Um, and when your fire is scattered, the smoke fills your eyes, your ears, your nose, and you can't, you don't, you don't experience life the same again um, until you go through those processes of healing. And I've definitely learned a lot about grief in these past couple of years and that journey and the dangers that it can present in your life if you don't process it. So <clears throat> with this last year, um, residential schools, um, unmarked graves being in, at the forefront of news and in the faces of, and a reminder to our communities, something that we've always known and that we've talked about, but that it became so in everybody's face with, um, Canadians becoming more aware of this history that affects our people and continues to affect our people from the intergenerational trauma that has impacted us. And we're still here. We're still healing. Um, it takes time. We've, we have to be patient. And when I was on my way up here, I was thinking a lot about what this meant to me and um, what it what really connected for me was this poem I read um, by Abigail Echohawk, um, who who said who wrote, "When they buried the children, what they didn't know, they were lovingly embraced by the land, held and cradled in a mother's heart. The trees wept for them 
with the wind. They sang morning songs their mothers didn't know to sing, bending branches to touch the earth around them. The creator cried for them, the tears falling like rain. Mother Earth held them until they could be found. Now our voices sing the morning songs with the trees, the wind, light sacred, light sacred fire. And sure, they are never forgotten as we sing justice. And for me, like that really spoke to what would this place represents, that healing, that reconnection, um, what the land represents for our people and can represent for all of us. And I hope that the healing place can inspire um, a change in perspective for everyone, a reconnection with all of our relations, that these are our relatives that we're planting. This is our, the relatives that we're taking care of and that we are taking care of each other in this process. And for me, I was really, <laughs> I still don't know if I believe in reconciliation and I'm okay with that. Um, because for me, reconciliation has to come with action. It has to come with movement. So I hope you carry that with yourselves today, um, with this moment, to do something, to say something, to speak up, and um, be there for our people as we go through these times. So Nyawa, appreciate everyone that is here, all the partners that made this possible, all the years and many, many meetings that Rhonda helped coordinate and helped us get our ideas together and actually manifest this place. And I'm just so appreciative of the kindness and patience this group has greeted me with um, and understanding. And so with that, Tukningo, y'all. Thanks, Abraham, that was uh, wonderful. Um, uh, it's been a long, a long journey doing this, and it's been a very unique one. Um, I, it's something that we had been talking about over the years, probably 20 years now, we've talked it between ourselves about doing something larger in our group. And then uh, this just happened to fall all together really quickly, and it, it happened amazingly because we all work so willingly together to do this. Um, you know, the design is, is, is pretty simple. It's, it's a generic design that uh, follow most First Nations almost anywhere in the world you go. We have these similar things of the four directions um, in our grandmother teachings, our grandfather teachings, the connection with the land. So we can't just make one thing fit all. And that's one of the mistakes people make is they think, oh, well, all First Nations are the same. Well, we're not. So with this, we had to find something that made us common made it the connection between our communities. And that's why we chose the species we did. Um, and and it, you know, it's not an easy task as people think it is. It's, it's, it takes time and it takes coordination and willingness to work together. And I think our group really, really did a, a tremendous job. So thank you to all of our partners, to South Nation. Uh, they were willing enough to just let us run with this and, and go ahead and do it. So if it wasn't for their openness, you know, this wouldn't have happened. So we would have planted trees, but it wouldn't have been this type of project. Uh, it's our neighbor who uh, donated the land to us. Um, it's a unique piece of property. This is uh, the high point in this area. This is where we would have settled our communities. Uh, the river is just to the, to the west of us here, not too far. So this is the type of area that if you would have to, to scrape down probably 12 inches, you would still see the old fire pits where our, our people were. So we were here in the past, and it's nice that now this area is coming back, and it's going to stay natural. It's going to come back to nature, and we're still going to have a footprint here for our people uh, to remember that, remember them, and uh, to remember the, the ones coming up. So the ribbons you see, those were tied for the 215 children that were first identified. Um, unfortunately, we didn't do more. We didn't have enough time to do more and enough space to put all the flags up we should have but that's to represent those those children that were lost and never came home now they get to come home so and that's it's a perfect timing for this to have this event to happen like this that we have a spot that any of the children that were from these areas they now have a space to be and we can remember them all forever so uh, with that I, I just want to thank all our partners and thank everybody that's come out to help today in the previous years and it looks like the weather's held off for us. So 
I'm thankful for that as well. And I want to thank, you know, our traditional opening we had in the centre this morning. It's so important for us to reconnect with each other. These lands we stand on were both Haudenosaunee and Algonquin. So we overlapped each other in many, many, many miles. It wasn't just a straight line like a county line. So we utilized all the way down through New York State. They utilized all the way up into Ottawa. So, you know, when we look at this, it's really significant to have this, this partnership here on this land. So it's, it's wonderful that we could do all this. Thank you. Bujou, Ani, Kwekwe, Sego, Wache, Happy Jane, Amin, Wandam, Jayayayango, Manangom. I'm really happy to be here today, and um, I, uh, I'm helper squabes to uh, Thomas, and um, I'll introduce myself in a traditional way, which is Knepa with Ozawi Mashkwa Indigu, Palindish Nikas, Muzum Dodam, Summerstown and Dunjaba. And uh, when I go with Thomas, uh, Thomas is from uh, Moose Factory, residential school survivor, he'll be speaking. And he always asks for us to sing a song. And this song originates from Moose Factory. And uh, the words, Nutawinan, uh, Wichinan, which means, uh, our grandfather, please help us, our grandfather, help us. And um, yeah, so I'll start with that song and uh, I'll pass the, the mic to uh, Thomas and uh, we'll go from there. So, Miigwech. And I'd like to thank everyone that helped organize this event and uh, what, what's happening and uh, coming together as one people, it's, it's just incredible. So, uh, miigwech.
I'm so honored to stand here in front of you, not only the survivor, but being there for many, many, many years ago, in 1953 to 1964 in residential school. I have 17 grandchildren today and three great-granddaughters. It's beautiful to be here. I have a beautiful grandkids. They walk this way up, this way they follow my footsteps, the fourth generation. They learn about the planning. They respect the land, the medicines that we have on this earth. They collect that and they show it to me. And you make tea for me. They say, many years that I walked this way, I've been sober almost 40 years now. I've been 74 for two years now. I don't know what's the number next. But it's really thankful for these young people and uh, that did all this work for us. All these plannings, it's our medicine. When I heard they discovered the un discovered a great red site across Canada, it really hurts. For me, go, went to Fort Albany, St. Anne Catholic School, and Fort George, Quebec, for many of years. Of all those years, in that 10 years, three of them never came home with me. Three good friends of mine in the island where, I'm, where I was from. It really trickered us. I know they're in a good place where they are. They're in a good place now. <laughs> When I hear that, I took my tobacco. The stay of the have a chow. I take a little bit of food out by the fire. Yep, it's again. There's many more to be found. But the ones I hold tobacco and the food, the feast, I put in the fire. My child, yeah, you've been found. We could hear them whispering voices in my dreams. Five of my sisters went to residential school and two of my brothers were all here. I want to thank you all for your support for this plantation. It's a good medicine. When you plant that tree, think about those ones. It's for them and also for yourself, that healing. Take care of yourself. Take time for to learn this seven grandfather teaching and the seven stages of life. If 
you don't know, don't be shy to ask questions. Over uh, all those years, I always used that tobacco and asked that favor to be listened to. That's what I did for many of years of my healing. It's not over. I get triggered for many of years. I see things on TV, I get triggered. How do young people really get molested or hurt? I get really triggered. I feel that. If you feel the pains, that's enough hurting your kids, other kids, other young ones, other teenagers, your partners. I felt that pain. I never had my kids when they were growing up. I just listen what they need to say. I just listen what they need to say. Sometimes they offer that tobacco to me. Even my own kids do that for me. Pray for those young ones. I love my grandkids a lot, more than every of my great granddaughters. They're going to go, that's enough hurting each other. That's enough backstabbing each other. They're going to go, that's enough. Let's all be family here, or in a place where you, where you go. In a place on this earth, we can Miigwech. Kishalamokwang, Nishik El Nilian Yun Kwe Kishwik. Nirishinzi, Hue Shopakum, Ninonje, Lapawi Lakawi, Ninangwa Mawak, the Kwa, Ni Untamunapawi. Hello, everyone. My name is Sam White Eye. I come from El Lapawi Lakawi, or Delaware Nation at Moravian Town. I'm Lalape. I'm Turtle Clan. I'm a matriarch leader. Um, in this capacity, I am an Indigenous leadership uh, specialist with Carolinian Canada, um, and I come from a different territory. This is my first time in this territory, and I am honored to be here. When I was approaching this territory and then driving through it, you know, three eagles came down and greeted me. I'm just joking, but um, my spirit was excited because, again, this is new for me, and to be able to come here and be here and and represent my people um, and uh, bring myself here in a good way. I was I was humbled and and, and happy to be here. And um, I had a day yesterday. Um, I went to Ottawa for the first time, and I went to the Parliament Hill, and I looked at it, and I stood there and I looked, and and in the center there they have. Um, a spot for a fire and all around that center and then down the way there was um, there was items and shoes and and drawings and stuff for the children and then along the way there was all those shoes and it was really heavy to be there there was medicines there that were there and 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 orange shirts and and it was heavy to be there and and I had to go in and walk it. I had to. I wanted to see. And so I, I'm walking around it, taking my time, taking it in. And, you know, there was this woman, and she was sick. And she was, she was walking around the shoes, talking. And I thought she was talking to herself, but I don't think so. She was, she was talking to the shoes, to the children. And, and when I left, 
know, I got really sad. All that, that energy in those items that were left there, that grief. You know, I was looking for smudge and I, I didn't bring my smudge on this trip, but there was no healing there. There was just grief. But this space is different. You know, this space is, is from the land. This space has medicines. This space we can come to and know that we're going to be taken care of by the land and by the folks caretaking and stewarding it. We need spaces like this for healing, to come together, to reconnect between nations. This space brings me hope. I need spaces like this. The territories need more spaces like this. And so for everyone that coordinated this, that this was just an idea and now come to fru fruition, I am, you know, so grateful to be able to do that ceremony this morning and bring back a way that our people used to reconnect and come into these territories was really important for me. So thank you. Um, I think that's all I need to say today. So, Anishik. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Sarah. I am a member of the Algonquins of Pequawkinton and the Muncie, Delaware, and I help to design the children's garden that we're going to be planting today. Um, and I work for Plenty Canada, so that's how I became a part of the project. Um, but the main theme of the garden is uh, butterflies. It's shaped like a butterfly. We selected the plants uh, to attract pollinator species. And part of the reason for it is it's just a really natural choice for this area, but butterflies are also associated with childhood and transformation. And so when we were um, planting this area and we're kind of coming up with what we wanted, um, when it comes to healing, part of that is transformation, transformation and you're transforming grief into healing. Um, and so to kind of add to that idea, um, butterflies seemed like a really natural choice. Um, and it also seemed like a really good choice for an area to welcome children. Because children, I find, are like really excellent examples um, of healing. They really know how to um, ha have and manage both joy and sadness at the same time. Um, and what better way to remember the children that we've lost than by thinking about future generations. Um, so when laying out the plants I laid it out, kind of from the perspective of a child. So the, the walkways are, are narrow, so there's lots of little nooks and crannies to get into. Um, there's edible foods like strawberries, which are also a children's medicine. Um, and they're just kind of within easy reach for kids, so that was really the main driving force. Um, so I hope everyone um, can come together and enjoy that space in the future, and that it'll be there for a long time for everyone to share. Thank you. had to step back for just a second so I'll take the opportunity to just um, acknowledge and thank a few individuals who were able to attend um, for us this morning so standing towards the western gate um, I'd like to thank Evan Cranshaw from um, MP Steve Clark's office for attending today on behalf of Minister Clark um, and I'd also like to thank uh, councillors Hugh Cameron and John Hunter for attending on behalf of Edwardsburg Cardinal Township. I'd like to offer John a chance to bring greetings from the township if you'd like to make your way across, John. All of our partners are wishing now that they were on this side of the circle. What a privilege and an honor it is to be here today among our First Nations brothers and sisters and the fellow 
members of the community to bring you greetings from Edgersburg Cardinal. It's such an honor to stand in what I believe is such a holy place to use and I believe will be for the rest of our fellows in this community. I was honored to be a member of a, of a council of all our members that took us so serious to establish October 30th for the day of reconciliation and remembrance and acceptance of the past that we aren't proud of. But we are proud of being able to be through South Nation and the partners to be accepted as a place to establish this holy place. And it's in such a, a place to me represents the correction of history. Being this location right here a number of years ago was one of the largest sawmill operations in eastern Ontario where we were taking down trees. Now we're putting back trees and bringing the earth back. So thank you very much for all the work you did here. The township is very honored to have it within her boundaries. And we wish you all the success and all the goodwill that can come from us to you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Bill Smarol, and I'm the past chair, South Nation Conservation Authority. I'm being replaced. So I'm, I'm representing, and I have the honor and pleasure of representing the South Nation Conservation Authority Board of Directors. This is a very special place. This is a very special day, and this is a very special event. One of the things that I think that's important for all of us is to learn more about history, to be educated, to share, and to understand the meaning of family and that we are one big family. You're also extremely interested in history, and I'm going to refer to my notes and cover a few historical notes that I think may be of importance. As some of you are aware, South Nation is an environmental agency that works on behalf of its partner organizations. And I might say that South Nation exists by developing and working with partnerships. That is so important to what we do and how we are successful. We're in Eastern Ontario and we deliver these environmental services and we're focused in the city of Ottawa, Prescott, Russell counties, Sermont, Dundas and Glengarry and Leeds, Grenville. We are here today on one of SNC, South Nation Conservation's recently acquired properties in the township of Edward, Edwardsburg Cardinal. The property is 89 acres, it was acquired in August 2019 through Canada's Ecological Gifts Program. As a member of the Ontario Land Trust, South Nation Conservation is approved to accept donations of land through Canada's Ecological Gifts Program, which can provide significant financial benefits to donors. On average, SNC receives about 50 acres of land per year donated, and they, we, it's added to the nearly 13,000 acres we own in the area that's mainly forests, wetlands, and some land that is a little more open and is grasslands. As well, South Nation manages over 20,000 acres of community forest in Eastern Ontario, including the Stormont, Dundas, and Glengarry County Forest, which is managed on behalf of those United Counties. South Nation uses donated lands to protect natural features, improve forest cover, ensure healthy and safe waterways, and provide public recreational areas. This property is significant 
because its grasslands are home to several species of at-risk species, and thinking particularly of the bobolink, the eastern meadowlark, and the gorgon crescent butterfly. It's also adjacent to a significant woodlot where it will be ideal for us to plant more trees and property as time goes on. And as we announced last year at our public gathering, this property will also be a place of healing and reconciliation known as the healing place. We thank our First Nations and environmental community partners for the opportunity to gather here today on the traditional lands of the Algonquin and the Mohawk First Nations to travel on a journey towards reconciliation and healing. And as I finish, I say education and learning and sharing is so important. And at events such as this, I learn so much. I get so many details and I'm always pleased to hear them and know more about our history. Thank you all for being here and continue the project. Thank you, Bill. And I'm going to call on the last of our few partners that are involved with the project to say a few words. So if Rob, John and Matt want to make their way towards me. Thank you, Rhonda, and good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Matt Malvahill, and I represent Ontario Power Generation this morning. And uh, I just want to say and echo, you know, what many have said this morning: what a privilege and a pleasure it is to be here today. It's an honor, and uh, I'd like to acknowledge that we are on the traditional lands of the Haudenosaunee and Algonquin people, and we're here to learn today. We're here to contribute, and I think that. Uh, OPG is a proud sponsor of this event, both last year and this year. Um, as, the, as the title indicates, it's a place to heal. It's a place to, you know, give back, uh, planting uh, these, these plants, learn about their significance, learn about the medicines they provide. It's also a chance this year to remember the children. So the garden that's being planted today Truth and Reconciliation Initiative that's that's been ongoing and uh, it's not just one day it's it's every day that we should carry that with us and again I'm just here to to listen uh, I want to thank all of the, the people here today that are you know here to share their culture and their insights so we're here to learn we're here to contribute and again we're proud to be part of this initiative I'd also like to thank South Nation Conservation Authority for putting on this tremendous event. Forest Ontario, Plenty Canada, and all the other community partners. Uh, it's a true testament to all different corners of the community and surrounding communities coming together to do some good. So kudos to everybody that was involved. And on behalf of OPG, I'd also like to acknowledge my colleague who's here with me today, John Santa, who's been part of the working group for the healing committee. So John's been an active uh, contributor uh, along with many of the, the speakers here this morning. So certainly would like to acknowledge uh, his efforts. And, uh, and I think that's everything I have to say this morning. So again, I hope everybody has a good day. And, and I just want to say how pleased I am to see so many people from not only the partnerships, but all of the surrounding communities, the municipality, you know, the, uh, the various indigenous communities. It's, it's wonderful to see everybody together. So I think we're all going to collectively do a lot of good today. And again, I just want to say what an honor it is to be here. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is John Pino. I'm uh, currently the executive director of the Ontario Woodlot Association and the Eastern Ontario Model Forest. And I'm truly honored to be here today. I feel I have so much to learn 
and this is this is helping me on a personal journey to to understand and to better appreciate what uh, what our history has been and the painful aspects of it and what we can do to move forward and make things better hopefully and I think we can I'd just like to acknowledge uh, the two presidents of our organizations here today Tony Bull president of the Eastern Ontario Model Forest and Paul Robertson president of the Ontario Woodlot Association we're again very honored to be here um, one, one of the things that's going on is we're merging as organizations and in my job I've inherited so much uh, very interesting and, and enjoyable things to be a part of and this certainly kind of came along and surprised me and I was happy that I could, could be a part of uh, the committee whenever I could make the phone calls and the zooms and and uh, and help to uh, to contribute in any way possible but it is truly a wonderful event it's it's uh, meaning I think will will be with me as I drive along um, home later on this week and uh, think more deeply about it but um, it, it's it's something we need a lot more of we need to have uh, these sorts of events and these sorts of beautiful and, and wonderful places so that we can remember better and understand better and and return to our to our, our need to be more integrated with with the mother earth and and the land so again on behalf of the eastern ontario model forest the ontario woodlot association thanks for letting us be a part of this beautiful ceremony and uh have a good day everyone yes good morning uh <clears throat> my name is rob Keene. i'm the ceo of forest ontario feel very, very, very privileged to be here today and extremely humbled as well. As has been said to, by a few folks, this is a place to tell stories and to heal and to learn from those stories. And I'd like to, to share with you a story um, just quickly. Uh, my wife and I were in Northern Ontario, uh, Canada Day 2020, <laughs> and um, we were in a very remote lake and we were, I ran into a little bit of a medical issue. And I was very fortunate that there was another group there on this very remote lake that uh, came to the aid of us and helped Debbie uh, get me out of there. And in fact, I ended up being airlifted out of, out of that particular lake. It was okay, it was just a little bit too much sun. Um, but it was just an incredible experience. And at the time, I was extremely proud to be a Canadian. And I felt it was a reflection of Canadians coming together, complete strangers and helping. Fast forward to Canada Day 2021, just last, last summer. Some five weeks after 215 children were found in Kamloops. Certainly not so proud to be Canadian at that time. In fact, somewhat shamed. And I cannot imagine the pain and the anguish and the anger felt by Indigenous communities across Canada upon those findings. I do feel that it has sparked the fire, though, to, be the, to hear the truth. The truth needs to be told and the truth needs to be heard. And then hopefully action taken once the truth is understood. Forest Ontario is committed to assisting with reconciliation community tree plants, committed to moving forward with events like this, the healing place. What a journey it's been. As Larry was describing it earlier, we started it probably well over, well, it was over a couple of years ago. And it has been an incredible learning experience right from the start, learning what, what Indigenous communities mean, what is important, and in part, in, in particular, bringing communities together at events like this. And what better opportunities for people to start to heal than bringing Indigenous communities together, non-Indigenous communities together, planting trees with this particular site, extremely well thought out of what those trees mean, but bringing people together to learn, to understand, to heal the earth through the planting of trees and to heal the communities by working together. So I want to thank 
all of you for being here today. Certainly the partners, OPG, South Nation, Plenty Canada, Mohawks of Aquasasne as the primary partners of this whole event that we've been moving forward with. And as I said, I look forward as Forest Ontario to continue to work towards letting the truth be told, working towards letting the truth be heard, and taking action to make sure that we work towards reconciliation. Thank you very much. So anyone that wants to do a tobacco offering is welcome to come. We have tobacco. If you have your own tobacco, you're free to come and do it. Uh, we didn't bring a, a spot to burn it, actually. But what we can do is we can place it onto the center rock. So anybody that would like to do that, come to the eastern door and come grab some tobacco. Think about your thoughts that you want to put forward and then place it into the center and then come back out and let the next person go. So anybody that would like to do so, just come and get some tobacco. So we're here looking at the children's garden. Yeah, we're going to say hi to Sarah here who designed and organized all of this. I'll try to lift you up so you can see the whole layout. <laughs> right. Sarah, do you have a few moments? <laughs> so say hi to the live stream. This is Sarah. Uh, would you like to just tell us a little bit about the children's garden? I know you gave a little introduction earlier that we saw. So the, the theme that we went with was um, butterflies, because uh, butterflies are associated with children and childhood uh, for Algonquin people and I think for Mohawk as well. Um, so we laid it out shaped like a butterfly and uh, a lot of the plant species are pollinator species so it is a butterfly garden that attracts butterflies. Um, and then. The other thing that butterflies represent is like transformation and that's what we're hoping the healing place will be is a place of transforming like kind of grief into healing um, what else? um so one of the species that we have in here is actually um butterfly milkweed which is a really bright orange which ties in with like orange shirt day um, and then We've placed the plants in a way that I hope will be appealing for children because we want it to be a space for children to come to as well. So we've got like the narrow paths, which are really nice for little kids for exploring. And I've put the, our wild strawberry plants here um, on the sides of the narrow path so that hopefully it'll be a little treasure that kids can find when they come to visit. Um, and then a lot of the plants here can be made into various teas. And then we have a couple of trees over there, which are, I can never remember, the Lucaria, which I think is uh, I can't remember. Joanna, Joanna's running around the other side to tell us what kind of trees we've got there. Hardy walnut or hardy, hardy hazelnut? Pecan. Hardy pecan. Hardy pecan. Okay. Hardy pecan, yes. yes. <laughs> They're both the same? Yeah. yeah. Cool. And historically, hardy pecan. we don't grow here. Um, but because of climate change, uh, there's something that normally grows a little south of here in the Carolinian, but because of climate change and the warmer weather, they're starting to be able to grow here. So we've planted them here, anticipating that in a few years' time, it'll be a really suitable habitat for them, and they'll do really well. Yeah. Cool. That's great. <laughs> uh, did you want to tell us about any of the other plants? Is that sweet grass over there? Yes, yeah, so we do have sweet grass in the middle. <laughs> Usually in the spring and summer, sweet grass will be picked from like the base where it's all white. I don't know if you want to kind of zoom in. And then while it's still fresh, it gets braided into braids, uh, usually using seven strands of grass per like chunk of braid. Um, so then you end up with 21 strings per braid. And then it's dried and it's used for, you can make it into a tea. Uh, it's used for smudging. It's one of the four sacred medicines um, and it's associated with uh, summertime and 
uh, one of the lessons of sweetgrass is that it's gentle and you're, you should try to live like that where you're soft and gentle and you're able to bend and move uh, with the environment uh, without breaking. Um, and we also consider it the hair of Mother Earth, so it's something that we try to take really good care of and think about the planet while we're handling it and planting it. Can you see awesome. the okay? oh, sorry. sorry, I thought Martina was talking yeah. to us, but she's not. And then I guess I can talk about what's behind the sweetgrass. Yeah, what else do we have here? So behind the sweetgrass, there's two different kinds of echinacea. Uh, there's light purple and dark purple. And then just in front of it here, we have uh, wild bergamot, which is a really beautiful smelling plant. It's kind of spicy and peppery, and it has really pretty um, purple and pink flowers that uh, are really popular for bees and it makes a really nice tea. Very cool. All right, are there any others that you'd like to, to tell us about? Uh, Not to take up all your time. But. Um, a lot of diversity. Yeah, there's yeah. lots of stuff here. Yeah, there's a huge mix. Um, there's a few different grasses, because um, this is naturally like a grassland area. So we've got fairy drop seed, um, Indian grass, along with the sweet grass, and I think there's another type of drop seed that I can't remember. And then we have wild ginger, which isn't too much to look at right now because it's pretty much done for the year. <laughs> but uh, there it is. the roots of that uh, make a nice tea. It kind of more or less tastes like ginger. Um, we also have bloodroot, which again, there's not too much to look at. It's pretty much done. It's a spring flower. It's called bloodroot because when you, you break the roots open, you can see one leaf there. <laughs> they, uh, they ooze like a really dark red color that looks like blood, and you can use it for actually doing natural dyes. Um, and then we also have here bunchberry, which is a really nice spring flower that has uh, little red berries on it. And I can't remember off the top of my head what that gets used for. <laughs> That's okay, there's so many different things here. <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful. The rest is a mix of asters and sunflowers as well. Awesome, and so we've got, this is one, is this one of the wings of the butterfly? Yeah, so if you want to <laughs> middle path is the body and up there is like the, the head and then the sweet grass is kind of laid out to be the antennas in like a U shape mm -hmm. and then the wings come out to this place. Beautiful. Well it looks like it's going to be awesome. Thank you for the tour. So thank you Sarah. <laughs> Everyone silently in the chat. <laughs>
We talked about the seven gifts and the seven grandmother grandfather teachings. We talked about creating accommodation and uh, building the cross cultural capacity to work together. It doesn't happen on automatic pilot, it happens consciously, it happens with training. And what I'm seeing is uh, one of the biggest impediments to being able to work together is assuming the Western Cappuccino Express works in all cases. No, it's not a de facto way of uh, governance. Accommodation has to be made. Uh, Dr. Kroshu talked about that at our annual celebration, which is uh, March 18th every year. Yeah, that he's still seeing kind of like Greta Thunberg, you know, nice words, yada, 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 but not real action. And so that, that accommodation is still a bit of a, a struggle. That for to operate in ethical space, people have to slow down and negotiate appropriate accommodation for, for both eyes. So yeah, so, so anyway, it has been an incredible journey. Um, as I said in my previous uh, comments, just the, the learning, certainly my learning as we've gone through this process, I think the, uh, as Larry talked about 2IC and more of the Western culture of how to do things it was where we started uh, prior to getting to where we are today. And I think through this engagement, we've learned a lot about how to properly communicate, how to ensure good governance within the structure that we're working in. And so all of that, I think, has brought us to obviously today's event, to the healing place that we have and where we can go in the future and have a place for people to go to, to reflect, to heal, to learn. And I think, you know, when we start talking about youth uh, in particular, what a great opportunity for, for those youth to come out and start to realize, you know, the truths that are out there, the truths of, of, our, of the history of Indigenous communities across Canada and the tragedies, of course, of what have occurred. But, and then what can we do beyond that to heal and to reconcile? So I think it's a, it's a great start with this. I hope that you can get busloads of, of uh, youth coming out to listen to folks like Chris and Larry and others that are so knowledgeable in, in, how, in the ways of engagement in the wage of community living. So I think that would be, that would be amazing. Yeah, if get more. All right, all right. We're, we've got Chris for two yeah. minutes here. And uh, as you would have seen during the, the speaker's lineup, uh, Chris spoke uh, about uh, the layout and the, the intention behind uh, this site here. And um, are there uh, any particular uh, plants or species that uh, you'd like to highlight to the, the uh, youth participants who are online right now? Um, yeah, there are a couple of the big ones. Uh, we have the, the white cedar, which, which is one of the four sacred medicines. Um, when we look at the four directions, the cedar's in the south. Um, so, you know, but it is one of the four sacred medicines. So we have this, the sweet grass, cedar, sage, and tobacco. Um, right now we have the sweet grass that's going to be going in. Sage will be coming back in the springtime to put some sage in. And the cedar's already growing. So that's the nice thing is that'll continue. Uh, the other thing, when we look in the four directions, they have very specific meaning. So with the Mohawk people and the Algonquin people, we have very similar things uh, of this tree species that are important to us for specific reasons. So that's what we've chosen. We've chosen uh, the sugar maple for the east because it's the first medicine of the year. And out of respect for the Mohawk, we've put the white pine in the western door. And the white pine for them is the tree of peace. So they would have liked to seen it in the center, but when we look at a traditional medicine wheel, there's nothing in the center because that's where the human is supposed to be focused, is in the center talking to the creator. But they did agree to put it in the western door as we're being the east, they'd be in the west to, to show that we're equal and we're balanced. So that's, those are the two most unique species here that have really important value to the, to the communities specifically for that but the rest of them are all traditional resources we would use whether it's traditional food uh, traditional medicines so we have the, the different nut species we have shag bark hickory we have uh, pig nut hickory we have shell bark hickory they were all edible it's pure protein uh, we also have walnuts butternut 
we have uh, beech, we have hazelnut. So all of those nuts were utilized because it's just, when it's dried, it could last a long time. It could be pounded into a flour and stored for years. And it was just a matter of mixing it with something to rehydrate it and make it more palatable. But it was it was like a base for everything. So even for like pemmican, nuts were, were a big process of that. Um, the rest of the species we have here, like white birch, they were important for us for, especially to the to the Anishinaabe people. It was it was very important for us for that was our, our resource for water transportation and shelter. Uh, the Haudenosaunee or the Mohawk people, not so much, but they still utilized it. It has lots of medicinal values um, that are still used today by both communities. So when we look at those species, that's what we're looking at. Were those things, and that's why they've been planted here. It's, it's so that it, it represents the best of all of us from this region, and, and it shows how we're so much similar, and how you know there may be a little bit of difference on how we see these species, but that they were very, very important for our everyday livelihood. And it's the same when we look at the flowers, the the flower bed that we're putting in. Um, the, the medicinal values are very, very similar between our communities, and so you know we're not going to teach people how to use them but that the fact that they're here because they were a value to our people and now it's up to the people to go back to their elders and say hey what was what did you guys use the purple cone flower for how did we use that how did what medicine did we make with that because we can't share that with everybody so the elders will be very specific on what they'll tell you and what they'll teach you about those medicines so you don't hurt yourself or kill yourself because a lot of these plants are toxic and if we don't do it properly it's not very nice so it's much like acorns most people don't realize that they're edible they're atrocious if you try and eat one right now but when they're boiled a few times and you take that tannic acid out of them they become just like a nut it's like just pure protein so it's very tasteful okay, so and very good so uh, that's what the, the, that's planning. about about so, so um, uh, set up uh, I don't know what more you'd like to know about it, but I mean that was phenomenal. That was really great. Thank you, Chris. Thanks. Um, thanks for asking. I'm glad you guys came out and you know make sure you interview each other. Yeah. Not just me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. The VIPs. Make, make sure you pick on Sarah too. We already oh, did. Gosh, we already yeah. did. <laughs> we got her. <laughs> But, you know, like, talk talk with the other elders that are here by all means and, and you know, talk to them about about the garden, what they think and what, what's unique about it in their eyes. Because there's, everybody has something to teach us, whether it's through our communities or somebody else's or even non-native communities. We have things to learn that we can share with each other, so it's a perfect spot. Miigwech. Miigwech. Miigwech, Chris. Miigwech. Miigwech. Ago ago ska du då för att unina jag går ni gula då när det är några lådor så när jag inte såla Tony och ta hak när jag går ni gula så ago ago ska du då för att unina jag går ni gula då när det är några lådor så när Gondilio Tony och ta hak när jag går ni gula så ago ago ska du då för att unina jag går ni gula då när det är några lådor så när Ogle Sumo Tony och ta hak när jag går ni gula så ago ago ska du då för att unina jag går ni gula då när det är några lådor så när Oji då Aguna Tony o toha kne gwa ni gula so a go go ska de do wa fwe nuni ne gwa ni gula dona det no hados ne ka a gaeli ne gwa lage Tony o toha kne gwa ni gula so a go go ska de do wa fwe nuni ne gwa ni gula dona det no hados ne la diwelas Tony o toha kne gwa ni gula so a go go ska de do wa fwe nuni ne gwa ni gula dona det no hados ne so gwa ji a yo kene ko gwa kwa Tony o toha kne gwa ni gula so a go go ska de do wa fwe nuni ne gwa ni gula dona det no hados ne a so te neka ka lakwa Tony o toha kne gwa ni gula so a go go ska de do wa fwe nuni ne gwa ni gula dona det no hados ne o jino gwa lunio Tony o toha kne gwa ni gula so a go go ska de do wa fwe nuni ne gwa ni gula dona det no hados ne ka yale ni ngwe duge Tony o toha kne gwa ni gula so a go go ska de do wa fwe nuni ne gwa ni gula dona det no hados ne so gwa e tizo Tony o toha kne gwa ni gula so Ona wedeli wale waho hodo nua when he's alade doga o teno sa yon gwa ni gula halo ize gine is a wata su telo e gadi Tony o toha kne gwa ni gula so yawa so 
just kind of wanted to give you a little bit more context on what the Ohanda Galiwatakwa is. It's the words that come before all else, and we give them before every important meeting and after every important meeting. And what I what I described for you, um, when I say Aguego Aska Dudawafwe Nuni, this means that we're all bringing our minds together to acknowledge an aspect of our relationship. And then when I say Toni Othohak Negwanigula, and the response to that is To, which is I agree um, that our minds are now one. And what I went through was, I went through the people were the first ones I acknowledged. Then I acknowledged Mother Earth. I acknowledged the, the waters, the fish, the roots, uh, the plants, the medicines, the food plants, um, the animals, the trees, the birds, uh, the thunderers, the four winds, the sun, uh, the moon, the stars, our four sacred teachers, and then creator. And so what we're doing is really acknowledging that relational network that we have and that we need to be, that we have roles and responsibilities to them. And so by opening and closing our meetings with this, um, we're keeping them in our thoughts and all of our decision making, how we choose to conduct ourselves in those environments. Um, and one of my favorite stories about this was, I remember I was at a meeting with the EPA and one of my good friends, Sati Yogwa, came in, and she was about nine months pregnant and gave the Ohanda Galuadakwa to the whole team. And she talked about what it meant. And the reason that we do it is to bring our minds together into this space, to be present, um, to arrive here together. So you're not thinking about the grocery list. You're not thinking about what we're having for dinner. Your mind is here, present, and, and ready to work, to be, um, to be here and to make those decisions. And so I, I often go back to her and think about those lessons that she taught me. She's one of my favorite teachers and friends. Um, and so I'm really appreciative that we opened in a good way. And so by closing, we've now closed the space. You are all free to release your minds of the healing place and go back to your lives. Probably won't, but <laughs> um, I hope that this, um, this time was as good for you as it was for me, as I said at the beginning. So, Nyawa, Nyo.